Today's topic is what to know about asymptomatic COVID-19. Not all patients affected by COVID-19 experience the symptoms associated with the disease, which means that though they are asymptomatic, the infection still exists. There could be approximately 40 to 45 percent of the cases in which the affected people are asymptomatic. Also, they can spread the virus for a longer period of time. Now, that's a big issue because knowing the confirmed symptomatic people, we can take precautionary methods to deal with the virus. But in asymptomatic people, we are unintentionally more prone to the infection since we don't know whether the person is infected or not and the virus is highly contagious. However, research shows that the probability of catching the infection from an asymptomatic carrier is much lower than acquiring it from the confirmed patient since there is no coughing or sneezing that is the potential route of transmission of the virus. But that doesn't mean the chances are nil because there are still chances of transmitting the virus by laughing or talking. So, don't let your guard down. You need to be careful around the following situations. 1. Having infected patients in the family. 2. Contact with COVID-positive patients in the last 14 days. 3. Traveling to the pandemic areas in the past 14 days. How to identify asymptomatic people. The best way to identify if a person is a carrier of COVID-19 is to get a nucleic acid test. The research shows that asymptomatic people have fewer antibodies in their system as compared to symptomatic cases. But no matter whatever you do or how observant you are of people in your surroundings, there will likely be some asymptomatic people around you that will go unnoticed under your nose. So, the best way to save yourself from the trouble is to take preventive measures. Prevention is better than cure. This is the perfect example of a quote being old as gold. Here I'm listing some of the precautions that you can take to avoid or tame this proud little virus. Wear a mask when going out in public. Keep a distance of at least one meter from your fellows. Wash your hands frequently. Avoid touching your face. Sanitize the things before using them. Eat healthy to build immunity. Exercise to strengthen your immune system. Holistic health is important in building your mental health, which plays a crucial role in dealing with this pandemic. Getting anxious and stress will only lower the immunity in your body and increase the chances of this little devil doing you harm. So, there is no need to be excessively worried, but to stay vigilant and safe. Now, the only question left to be answered here is whether an asymptomatic infected person will stay asymptomatic even when infected with other variants of COVID-19. It is absolutely possible to show some symptoms when caught other variants at some point in time down the road, but that's not mandatory in every case as it depends on various factors, including the might of the virus and health of our body. Hence, it is very difficult to predict the outcome after getting the infection. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.